My intellect is without limit. Stacks back. Scoop face. MTG. So, I posted a video clip on Facebook a few days ago. Uh, I was playing this teamer deck and it was sitting around Terror of the Peaks and I was playing with Impervious Great Worm and I, I smashed and killed my opponent out of nowhere um, for over 20 life with Terror of the Peaks. And ever since then, I've been getting messages on Facebook and emails of people wanting to see the deck. So this is the deck. This is the Teamer Terror deck that so many people have wanted to see since that clip. Um, I just want to put out a big disclaimer though, before I get into this deck is that this deck, if you're going to play a teamer and you're going to, you're going to spend wild cards to play a teamer build for competitive, if your objective is to rank up and, and um, get into mythic and all that good stuff, then I do not recommend this teamer build to do that. This teamer build, I built this strictly for fun. You guys know I like my beat face action. I like big flashy creatures and big flashy spells. So um, that is why I built this deck. This deck, you can compete with this deck. Don't get me wrong. I, I advanced through Platinum before I started testing something else. And then, you know, once you start testing other decks, then um, you start losing and you start dropping back down. But um, I was advancing through Platinum pretty swiftly with this deck. But the only, my biggest issue with this deck is um, it has two glaring weaknesses. Um, it is very susceptible to counter spells. Um, as one would guess, playing anything that's big and flashy with big flashy spells. And it has a certain gambling aspect to it, if you will, um, a certain luck factor. So, uh, you know, playing ultimatum, sometimes you can whiff. You know, I'm just going to be honest about that. I mean, if you don't know, when you play Genesis ultimatum, there's nothing more sinking than you, you look at the top five cards and it's like three lands and two grazers. You know, it does happen. It happens. And it sucks when it happens, but it happens. And I just want everybody to know that because this deck, it does have a lot of rares and mythics in it. And I don't want anybody to waste their rares and mythics to build this thinking that they're going to go and be super competitive with it. And then they get mad when they have those lotto games that fail. <laughs> so um, the deck is very, very powerful. You can kill somebody out of nowhere with it, but it does have its times when it just whiffs. So let's get into the build. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much time on this because it is basically a, a, a team of ramp deck just with the finishing aspect of it changed around. Um, so three Grazer, four Growth Spiral, three uh, Bone Crusher Giant, one Cultivate, four Uro Titans, Titan of Nature's Wrath, uh, three Storm's Wrath, four Terror of the Peaks, three Nissa Who Shakes the World, uh, four Genesis Ultimatum. Yes, if you're going to play this deck, you want all, you want all four of them. You, you need all four of them. Just, just trust me on that. Um, and one Ugin Spirit Dragon and three Impervious Great Worm. There's no sideboard for this because I've just been running it in strictly best of one. Um, you know, it, this is one of those decks that it's just a meme deck. So you just want to go ahead and, and run it and get a win, get your wins in with it. You know, you don't want to waste time in best of three with this deck because your opponent will be better prepared to stop what it is you're doing. But it's always funny to go ahead and get an ultimatum off on turn five or turn six or something like that. And you fling in, you know, a terror of the peaks and an impervious great worm and a bone crusher giant or something like that. And you just kill your opponent out of nowhere. Um, that was the main reason I built this deck. Um, I wanted a deck to take advantage of terror of the peaks because when you play terror of the peaks in a fair deck, um, you play terror and they just kill it, you know, and you don't get the opportunity to benefit off of its ability with this deck. You play ultimatum and you get a terror. You hit a terror and a great worm. Your opponent is basically dead at that point. Um, you should have no problems killing them. Anything beyond flipping over a terror and an impervious great worm is pretty much just death. It's 20 damage. So um, especially if you have two, if you flip over two terror of the peaks. So yeah, this deck is, you'll see in the gameplay, it's very explosive. Um, you just kill your opponents out of nowhere. But then there are times. Again, I'm going to I want to reiterate this because I did get a message from somebody on one of my previous decks about um, they were expecting a certain result out of it and they weren't getting that. So they were kind of upset with me and they said I made them waste their wild card. So I just want to fully provide a full disclaimer with this deck that 
This deck is not for you to go be super competitive with. This is a meme deck. This is a deck for you to be explosive with, get some laughs, and just, you know, kind of like, ha, 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 point at your opponent, and, you know, because you just killed them out of nowhere. Um, that's what this deck is. So, without further ado, let's get into the gameplay. Two lander, but I'm going to try it. I'm noobish like that. I'm noobish. Go. Now seriously, hopefully I hopefully I draw into a land between natural draw and spiral. Alright. There we go. We'll go ahead and cultivate. Um uh, actually I need another need another island. Put the forest in here. Alright. Good to go on the nice ramp start here. I wonder what my opponent's playing. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna play Uro. <clears throat> go ahead and uh, I'm gonna pay for this in case I draw another another green source. Well, that's not a green source. Could have been a blue source too, but actually, I, I, I do need that red source in case I draw ultimatum. Mutate. Hmm. I haven't seen very many mutate decks lately. All right. Get these spirals out of here. Mutate's usually pretty, kind of too slow now. This uh, mountain. Mutate's kind of too slow in the current meta now. Everything happens so fast, especially with all this nice ramp going on. Ramp, ramp, reclamation. What you doing? You gonna put your Umari in your hand? Waste your turn doing that. <laughs> Alright. Frog. Alright. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and ultimatum. Wow, that's a that's a bad ultimatum. That is uh one of the negative aspects of playing this deck is that ultimatum It's only five cards and sometimes it can be it could be a whiff. It's very painful when you're in a when you need a good ultimatum hit and you and you whiff on it. But that's the price you pay for power. Sometimes it doesn't work in your favor. But fear not, I have two more in my hand. Very likely here that my opponent is not going to get to all the all the magnificent mutations they seek here. <laughs> Go ahead and play another one. Oh! Alright. <laughs> yeah, they, they're just dead here. <laughs> I'm going all that face. All that face here. Yeah, my, my opponent's very dead here. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Uh, nope, can't keep this. All right, this is better. I think I'm gonna put back the terror here. Shiny, shiny. All right. Um, uh, I think I, I can keep this land there. I need lands. Shiny, playing mono green. Oh, maybe teamer. Playing some teamer wreck. Come on, Shiny, you can tell me. I won't tell anybody. Beanstalk giant. 
Beastall Giant is actually a, a good alternate for this deck. If anybody ever wants to, like, if you can't, uh, if you can't. All right, let me put uh, let me put the forest in. Yeah, if you can't get the worms, then Beanstalk Giant is like a good substitution for the worms. Cause I know not everybody has the worms, and not everybody wants to spend Mythic Wild Cards on the worm. Oh, what's the beast? All right. Well, it appears that Shawnee's on some some gruel madness here. Um, I'm just gonna hold this ultimatum, and I don't have another red source. I'm gonna take another hit from the questing beast here. I don't wanna I don't wanna waste my my giant yet. I would like to draw another red source, to clear the board. I was hoping that he would have played another another creature here. Alright. Although if they played another creature, it might be uh oh, do two to the face. It might be too big. That storm wrath might not even kill it. Gain some of this life back. Alright, perfect. Perfect though. Go ahead and play my giant now for a blocker. Block. Block your questing beast now. Unless you make them fight. You wanna make them fight? Oh. Poor guy. Oh man, I ain't seen him in a while. You wanna attack with your questing beast? No? Alright. Um. Alright, well let me go ahead and ultimate him. Um, <laughs> all right, need to select all of this. What are they? They're 18, right? Oh, yeah, they're, they're dead then. 16 to the face. And Stomp kills them. That's how you do it. Out of nowhere. <laughs> Been waiting on Carnage here. Guess he was somewhere fighting Spider Man. All right, now he's ready to fight. Dax Rockman. Carnage. Did you beat Spider-Man? Or were you fighting Venom? <laughs> Come on. There's Sky Nomad. Alright. Take zero. Fight the Grazer. <laughs> What are you doing? What are you playing? All right, you take you can take two. I don't know what you're doing up there. All right. I don't know what you're doing, Carnage, but you can keep taking this Grazer beat down. <laughs> oh man, it's so funny when you smack people for zero. No, it's antagonizing. Oh. Very. I know my responsibility. Return my giant. Oh, he's tired of taking the grazer hits. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm gonna swing forward your face, Carnage, and uh, stomp the fairy. The two here. This is hardly my worst defeat. And uh, let's get the grazer back on the board. Turn of your your arch nemesis, the infamous Grazer. Oh, what is this like? Little walkers or something? Tiny walkers? Oh, definitely Clarion. All right. Well, <clears throat> go ahead and kill your Narset. And obviously, I won't play my second Bone Crusher since you have a Deafening Clarion. You go ahead and waste that now if you'd like. Alright. You didn't want any more of that Grazer beatdown. Alright. 
probably got another one. They usually, they usually always have it. Do you have another one? Another Clarion? Oh, no, another Narset. He's got three Interplanar Beacons now. You managed to get all of those. Shuffler. Shuffler's cheating me. Working for you. Alright. Go ahead and kill Narset again. I'd like her to stay gone. Got an Ashiok now. Guess he's tired of the, uh, the Uro shenanigans. Sending in Ashiok. And sure no, no Euros will be antagonizing him. Oh man, he hit two Terror of the Peaks. That's not good. Oh, well. I guess the Shuffler heard me talking about it. Decided to give me a... Give me a Terror. Alright, let's go ahead and get this down now. So, I don't know what he's got now, but if he doesn't remove terror, it's very likely he's going to end up dying here. Unless I whiff my ultimatum. Okay. I'm glad he, I'm, I'm actually glad he did that because that would have been a very bad ultimatum. <laughs> I didn't see any creatures in that that uh exile activation so very likely I hit some now oh yes <laughs> uh yeah I think he's dead yeah he's at what 25 yeah he's dead <laughs> all face <laughs> I'm gonna keep this this is a sketchy hand not much action but just to kind of mood them in today. Wu Tang Dan. I like that. Like uh, this down tap. Like uh, Forrest Gump. Lieutenant Diane. What you playing, Lieutenant Diane? You playing some uh reclamation? Oh, Bant. Bant? Could it possibly be Bant Reclamation? Who knows? Go ahead and get these uh, tap land in. Who knows? Is it Reclamation time? I suspect not. If he had it, he'd jam a land and jam it right away so I suspect the answer is no just the grazer not doing anything can't do anything well he can attack but it won't hurt Joriel alright so it's that bad dick alright I'm gonna put my terror out here and uh I suspect he may play a little Teferi, bounce my terror, draw a card, get a token, all that good stuff. It's usually the play with this, this Bant deck, this particular one anyway, yeah. Alright. Since that is the play, I'm just going to Storm's Wrath and he'll lose his board. I'll lose my Grazer, that's fine. Still just a grazer. Not doing anything. Alright. Uh do I need this untapped for any reason? No. Alright. Clear the board. Alright. See what else he's got now. Um Could have a board drop to fairy right now. I suspect he's trying to get up to Sark Typhoon, maybe. 
think that's the ideal six mana play for this this particular band deck he's playing. Dan. All right. I'm sure you would have loved to have Joriel out for that that spiral. Sorry. He's not around. Oh, two of them. Alright, well, my play is very simple here. Play my here. And I say go. Alright. He's got seven mana. Seven manas. You're gonna play a uh, Ugin? Alright. Didn't have an A plan, huh? Uh, alright. Well, you go ahead and Uro to your face. Oh! <laughs> alright, uh, put this in and do six more to your face. Hurts. I know. <laughs> Five. Alright. Now he can't cast any spells to target it to get rid of it because he has to pay three life. Got some kind of bounce. Oh, no. It's gonna make sharks. It's gonna make some more sharks. Got a uh, Elspeth Conquers Death. Gonna make some more sharks. Dan? You do have sharks on your on your shark tour, huh? I feel like Jeff Goldblum in Jurassic Park. <laughs> Dan! Come on, man. What are you doing? Oh, crisis. Alright. Well, unless I whiff here with this ultimatum, he's very dead. Alright. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. Um... Uh, pay for it just because goodbye Dan it's nice having this conversation with you <laughs> uh yeah guess it's good enough to try typically anything with two lands and a growth spiral in this deck is pretty sufficient to try Scry, Let's see what we got here. Ugin, no, you go to the bottom. Don't need you. Let me say this person's name. I, I'm not even gonna try that. Spirit Dragon, Sprite Dragon, whatever. All right. This down tap and uh, step on your dragonfly. <laughs> Dragonflies crushed. Oh, forbidden friendship. What is this deck? Interesting. Alright. Uh, go ahead and Euro. That is not a land. That's not what I wanted. Of one mind. Um. Okay. Are you gonna get back your draw power? All right. Well. This will give me my lands here. That's what I needed. Uh, what do I need here? I need forest and another island. Go ahead and get this down. 
Play the forest. Play my giant. Stop the bleeding. Stop the bleeding. I'm sure this deck has some kind of object objective that they're not getting to. Oh. Alright. Well, my giant's gone now. I suspect it's just, um, they probably have Omni Seas in there and Sprite Dragon to grow as they draw cards and all that, that good shenanigan stuff. Go ahead and play Ultimatum. Uh, yeah, my opponent's dead here. <laughs> Alright, 16 to the face. And then I'm going to animate a land. That's going to be all she wrote. Go ahead and play this one. Oh. <laughs> Kindle fire. Ready? I'm ready. Go fire. Play a mono raid. It would be so inappropriate for you to have fire in your name and not be playing red. Alright. Scry. Um. Eh, I guess I'll keep that there. Not like I don't need the lands. Nissa likes lands. He loves them. Are you playing some spicy rampage? Kendo? Ramp sauce? Ramp pack supreme? Like me? Alright. Put that on the bottom. Don't need any more of the rampage. I got enough rampage. Oh. The battle of, battle of the rampage. Playing Saltai. Alright. Uh, don't need that. Go ahead and play Nyssa. Get in for three. Animate my Temple of Mystery. Mysterious. Hmm, don't see Sultai too often. I wonder what, what he's. Oh, Kong! Oh! I didn't expect that. Alright, uh, alright, let's get a Euro. Draw a card. Alright. I'm gonna kill the Paradise Druid and set his set his mana back here. All right, animate one of these lands after I get the giant down. Swing with Kong with my stuff out. I'll block it. Kill your Kong. I like Kong. I should revisit that. I should re go back and make another Kong deck. I haven't, I haven't played a Kong deck since I first, my, some of my first YouTube videos. So I should go back and revisit Kong. We got casualties of war. Or something. You seen that card in a while? Wouldn't be surprised. Oh. Hydra. Alright. I suspect he's going to stink. Yeah. Swinging at Nissa. I'll let Nissa die. Alright. Um, go ahead and get a Euro in play. Oh, that's enough lands. Kindle fire. 
Turn off the ramp. We don't we don't need the ramp anymore. Well, he may need the ramp. He's only at six land. He might be like, speak for yourself, stacks. I need more lands. You need more lands? Where's your Euros at? You're not playing any? You should. Euros a good card. In case you hadn't heard. <laughs> what are you doing? Alright. You gonna swing at me with your Kong? You're just gonna play spirals over and over again. Alright. I'll take the hit from your Kong. Cause I'm all I'm at all in actuality only taking only taking four. Ugh. Throwing bad now. This uh Kendo doesn't believe in blocking. Alright, go ahead and uh dig these lands out here. Oh um, hey. I want to get the grazer down too. Maximum blockers. Alright. I haven't played a land yet. I was trying to remember if I played a land. Alright. Go and get the grazer down. Got it all on the field. Endo. Oh, it's all to you, man. What are you doing? Oh, Godzilla. Like that. That's what I needed. Ultimatum. Oh, uh, it's not a very impressive ultimatum. It happens. Take your zero to the face here. Oh, uh, I'm gonna swing my hero. He can block it. Oh my gosh. No more lands. Don't need any more lands. Alright. Oh, another cone. Gonna fight my terror. No. No. Don't swing at me for 10. This is bad. Alright. Uh, I'm just going to block it. Put some more cards in the graveyard for my, my Euro. My Gyro. I'm going to my nickname for Euro now. Gyro. My Euro. Alright. Thorns Wrath. Oh, got Ugin. Okay. Well, yeah. Let's go ahead and exile your guys. My guys will stay. Get them out of here. Put that ghost fire on them. Yeah. Good game. Good game. Guess I'm pretty much drew every land out of my deck. <laughs> and um I'll just let Ugin kill him. Ugin's gonna send that ghost fire to your fire, Kendo. Kendo fire. Getting that ghost fire. Mythos. I like the Mythos art. Looks very ancient Indian. 
Sad robot. Sad with you. Maybe I should ghost fire him. <laughs> oh man. Ghost fire. And that is how you crush your opponent. Bring them down from 20 life to death in one blow. Using the terror. <laughs> Oh, you guys know I love my beat face decks. That's where it started with me on this channel. Um, that is that is my type of decks. I love decks that just play big flashy creatures and just smash and kill my opponent out of nowhere. So these type of decks will always hold a special place in my heart above everything else. And I hope they do with you all as well. If you play this deck, please share it. Share with me the glory and the terror that you give to your opponent by killing them out of nowhere. <laughs> Um, I hope you all enjoyed the gameplay as usual. If you have not subscribed, please do so. Hit that bell, um, like, comment on this video. Helps out the channel a whole lot. Um, again, taking deck submissions and uh, ideas from everybody that's willing to share them with me and uh, in hopes to see a gameplay video on this channel. Um, this isn't just my channel. This is, this is all of your channel. This is everybody's channel. So um, this is strictly just for fun for me. I'm not a sponsored big time content creator so this is just a hobby for me so i enjoy giving the people what they want so let me know what it is that you want to see <laughs> um appreciate everybody as always and i will see everyone next time